Hello and welcome to this Math Habits lesson on order of operations using word problems. Let's take a look at this question. If Sue has to put 10 almonds into each of five plastic bags and 12 almonds into each of four paper bags, how many almonds will she need altogether? So let's start with the first part. She's got 10 almonds and she's going to have five bags with 10 almonds in each bag. So we can write that as 10 times 5. Then the second part is 12 almonds and she's got four bags with 12 almonds in each bag. So we can write that as 12 times 4. Now, when we look at the question, how many almonds will she need altogether? we're going to add those two values together. Now we have an equation that requires us to use PEMDAS to calculate. So 10 times five is 50, 12 times four is 48, 50 plus 48 equals 98 almonds. Okay. The next day, Sue has 100 almonds. She eats 16 of the almonds. She has to put the remaining almonds into 12 bags. How many almonds will she put into each bag? So I'm going to talk you through the question and let you make sense of how the equation relates to the problem. Here we go. She has 100 almonds, but eats 16 of them. So she takes 16 away from 100, which will leave 84. She is then going to divide the 84 almonds between 12 bags. So Sue will have seven almonds in each bag. So this is a different kind of problem. Sue is told to put 40 almonds onto a pile of 100 almonds. She is allowed to take home one half of the almonds. Write this as an expression. A quick reminder here, an expression does not have an equals sign. An equation does have an equals sign. So back to Sue and her almonds. So she is being asked to add 40 almonds to 100 almonds. So let's do that. Then it says she is allowed to take home one half of the almonds. Well, one half is multiplying by a half. So let's multiply that by a half. Now, this is where we have to use PEMDAS and our order of operations really carefully, because if we calculate that expression, we're actually going to be adding 100 to one half of 40, and our answer would be 120. But as you'll see here, that is not the correct answer. In order to calculate the pile of almonds, we have to put parentheses around the 100 plus 40 section. So now we can relate the problem to the expression. There is a pile of 100 almonds. She adds 40 almonds, which gives her 140 almonds. And she is allowed to take one half of the 140 almonds home. So she multiplies 140 by one half, and that is the expression. Now, if we were asked to write this as an equation and solve the equation, we would have 100 plus 40 equals 140 times a half equals 70. And that is it for this Math Habits lesson on order of operations using word problems. Please check out the other order of operations lessons in the Math Habits series. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.